<coughs> Hi there, I've just got into uh, my daily BBC Berkshire show, um, but I just thought I'd like to um, show you a little interview I did last week when I was on The Right Stuff, and I met Simon Weston. Now, Simon Weston is the Falklands veteran, the hero um, who was very, very badly burned during the Falklands War, and has spent the rest of his life, really, um, campaigning for the rights of servicemen um, and being very outspoken about that sort of thing, and a great guy he is, too. And he was telling me about this particular idea he's got, uh, which is an internet-based um, idea, a website, uh, which is basically for people seeking insurance. It's like a, uh, an insurance comparison website, but it will directly um, help servicemen and their families. So uh, this is what he had to say about it, and if you're interested, then you can go ahead and take up his recommendations. Okay, so tell me about Forces Deal. What, it, what is it? How does it work? Well, forcesdeal.com essentially is exactly the same as other comparison websites for car and house and van and motorbike insurance. Other products will come along as we grow. But uh, what we're doing that's so different to the others is that we're giving 70% of the commission to uh, military charities, to veterans charities. Anybody can buy off of our website. You don't have to have been in the forces, but all you have to do is to care about them and the veterans, and we're talking about 10 million people, not just the modern uh, collective that we have today. But what we're doing is we're going to be able to contribute to all of these different charities through a foundation, which will make a huge difference to an awful lot of people's lives. What sort of difference, though? I mean, what sort of things do these charities do? Well, you can go from the homeless to mental health to, um, as I was on Saturday evening, I was with the widows and the children where we can provide parties or homes. And one of the pie-in-the-sky dreams that we have, and we hope it will come to a reality, is to be able to contribute to perhaps a college fund for these children because, you know, the dads are not going to be around to be able to provide perhaps even the, the first driving lessons or uh, maybe the wedding that dad would have provided, you know, all those sorts of things. If we've got enough money, we can make dreams come true because we're not in it to become wealthy. And, People may think that there's a catch to this, and there genuinely is, and I've been doing this sort of thing for 25 years. If I was going to get rich off the back of other people, I would have done it a long time before now. You know, um, I've had to borrow a car parking space for the last night, and they've had to put me up because I can't afford to be parking in London 25, 30, 40, 50 quid. I can't afford those sorts of things. So it, it's, it's not about getting wealthy. It's about being able to give back and when people realise that the commissions they pay on their car insurance through all the other websites, all that money goes into a bank and the banks then pay the bonuses and pay the pension fees, all of that gets paid off by this. Um, it's just, it's a new way, it's a nicer way, it's the first time anybody's ever been offered a choice. Well, actually, it doesn't make any difference to the consumer. If you want insurance, you can go to various websites to get it, but if you come to yours, Somebody, somebody else benefits as well instead of a bank, as you said. Absolutely. You've got to buy insurance if you've got a car. Yeah. If you've got a motorbike or a van, if you can afford it, it makes sense to do a house. But the fact is, you've got to do most of it legal. It's a legal requirement. So, um, but for the first time, you've got a choice. You can either give your commission to the bank or you can give it to charity. Uh, it's a simple equation. And, and we're not putting any pressure on anybody, but we would love people just to get involved because this way, they can make a contribution without having to run up Kilimanjaro or swim the channel or you know sit in a, a bath of beans or anything like that. You could, you, you're doing your bit just by buying and doing something you, you do normally anyway. So what's the website address? It's forcesdeal.com uh, and then forcesdeal.com foundation. But once you get onto the forcesdeal.com website, you'll be able to read about the foundation, you'll be able to read about everything that we're trying to do. Ah. Yeah, a little weird. Yeah.